Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial. This time we're going to demonstrate how to create a quick loop using a UV3 uh, grand piano and DG keys and synth master player. I'm going to give away some codes for a grand piano um, a UV3, so if you're interested, send an email to soundformore at gmail.com. So um, we are, I'm going to try a new way, so I'm going to narrate this video. So let's start with creating a new audio channel inside AUM. Let's search for a, a grand piano, a UV3, as you can see. Let's select it. Okay, let's go on the uh, hamburger menu. Let's make sure that these, for the moment, receives only on channel number one. Let's create another audio channel. Let's search for DG keys from four pockets. Here we are. Now let's connect uh, the grand piano to G DG keys. We've done so. Let's open DG keys. So first thing, let's create a new song, a MIDI song. We give it a name. And we press enter, and then we click on create. So the song is now creating. Let's click on host sync so we can drive um, um, DG keys from AUM. Now let's select to what it says scale and minor scale. Then let's go on the length and change the pattern length to the 64 steps, the maximum. So we can have more chords. Now let's start creating a pattern. So from the note C, like so, that is the basic of the pattern um, or the rhythm pattern. And now let's build on top a C minor chord, like so, and let's click play to listen to it. Sounds good. So let's go now to the uh, next set of steps, clicking on uh, um, range um, and build uh, the next um, chord rhythm. Of course, this time on uh, E flat uh, major, but starting from the B flat or A sharp. Like so, and we click play again. Sounds good. So we can proceed now showing the range for the next set of steps and going further down to an F minor chord starting on G sharp or A flat. So we build the the same uh, rhythm using this chord, like so. And now for the last uh, set of steps, again, we click on show range number four, and we build, uh, we're going up this time, we're going to use an um, uh, B flat uh, um, major chord, starting from B flat. Okay, sounds good. Now let's um, enable channel two for grand piano and we click on the second track and now we're going to build a, a bass. We go um, a lower octave um, on the transpose and we now um, effectively repeat the bass note for each chord, still using the grand piano, receiving also on channel number two. As you can as you can hear the sound is richer now okay that's good uh, so great performance from grand piano okay and let's create a new audio channel now and let's select for this audio channel synth master player okay so this channel will receive on channel number three so we use track number three on DG keys Okay, let's go inside Synth Master Player. Let's uh, search for kick, for a kick drum, and let's choose one preset. Okay, now go back to DG Keys, select the third track, 
and really repeat the rhythm uh, that we had for the chords but this time for uh, uh, the kick drum and we'll do the same for uh, each step Let's adjust the volume. Create a new audio channel. Again, we are searching for a synth master player. Like so. This will receive on channel number four. Back to digi track, digi keys track, um, yeah, digi keys and um, track number four. And we're going to build the snares now. Let's change. Let's uh, go back to the synth master player, search for snare and choose another cut one. Let's try this one, this trance version. Mm, maybe the tremor. Sounds good, let's complete um, uh, the snare pattern. Okay, now another audio channel. Again, we search for the same synth, synth master player. We ensure that these we receive on channel number five or maybe channel number five we select the new preset a pad go back to DG keys select track number five we lower of an octave okay that sounds good the volume is too high so I'll just adjust that again. Back to Digi Keys. And let's complete the pattern. Okay, let's create a final um, audio channel. A search again for synth master player let's change the MIDI channel it will receive from so in this case number six okay let's choose uh, I want an arpeggiated bass so that it makes it easier to create um, an, an additional bass sound or bass track Okay, back to DG Keys, track number six. Here we go, one single note on C. Oops. Okay, we finished the pattern for um, each of the steps. Okay, let's ensure the connection is there. Now let's adjust the volume because we have um, some clip in there. Lower an octave. That sounds better. Let's change the base uh, preset. Let's select base again. No, not this one really. This is the previous one. That oh, sounds okay. So, as you can see, um, great, nice, simple loop, but effective. 
let's add uh, a reverb lower the gain and voila I hope you enjoyed um, and um, see you next time